Welcome back guys, so I own the LCD variant of Steam Deck. In this video, I'll be showing you how to overclock its display from 60Hz to 70Hz. It's a small overclock, tech should be able to handle it. The overclock should not damage text display, but I'll be honest, I've only used the overclock mod for a few days. Cannot comment on its long term usage. Use the overclocking mod at your own risk. After overclocking the display, I'll be running Hogwarts Legacy with Luke FC's FSR3 frame generation mod. We'll try to observe the added amount of smoothness due to frame generation. So first we need to disable one setting. This is SteamOS running in gaming mode. Press the Steam button. Tap on settings. Scroll down to the end. Tap on developer. Scroll down to the middle. Disable this setting. Enable unified frame limit management. By default it is enabled. That's it. Now I'll switch to Steam desktop mode. Installation and uninstallation instructions for the refresh rate unlocker script have been provided by this user on their github page. I'll give its link in the description of this video. I'll proceed with the installation process. Using my bluetooth mouse to navigate through the interface. This is the first step. Go into steamOS desktop mode and open a console terminal. Click on the steam icon here. And just type console. Open it. Second step, just copy this line of text starting from CD and switch kit, right click, copy, paste it in the terminal, right click, paste, hit enter. Cloning process is going on. Progress. Make sure your Steam Deck is connected to the internet. Process complete. Third step. Now copy this line of text starting from CD. Ends with SH. Right click, copy. Execute it in the terminal. Paste. Hit enter. Wait for the process to complete. You, now you need to enter your pseudo password. After entering your password, this menu will pop up. From here, we need to select the refresh rate range and select this one 2070. Refresh rate limit and just click on OK. Now we just need to reboot Steam Deck in order to apply the settings. And just type reboot and hit enter. We are in. Now just open performance tab. You will be able to select 70Hz refresh rate. Now I will be running Hogwarts Legacy. I have already installed UKFC's FSR3 frame generation mod in this game. Using Proton version 8.0-5 as the compatibility layer. Connected my Xbox One S controller to Steam Deck via Bluetooth mode. Performance tab. Only level set to 3. Frame rate limit set to 70. Refresh rate set to 70. And that's it. Show you the in-game settings. Display settings, 800p resolution, upscale type set to DLSS using its balance preset. In my original Hogwarts Legacy FSR3 mod installation video, I had set the upscale sharpness level to 0. In order to improve the mod's performance, you need to set it to a value other than 0. I have set it to 0 0.01. I'll just increase its value. 0 0.1. Frame generation enabled. Reflex enabled. I don't think it's going to work. Motion blur disabled. Using the low preset. Ray tracing disabled of course. That's it. Let's start the game. There's a character. Here we are getting around 60 to 70 FPS. I'm in Hogsmeade. Check out the input response. I'll use my wand. Frame generation mod is definitely working in this game. Not observing any graphical artifacts around the character model. Games, hide elements are not flickering as well. Okay, when I move the camera slowly, some coasting occurs around the controller prompts. 
not easy to observe try to observe now so some minor artifacts are present and just explore the area 55 to 70 fps someone asked me how the game runs with frame generation mod installed and a 40 fps gap let's try that as well refresh it set to 40 frame rate limit set to 40 as well okay can observe the choppiness game is not running smoothly at all the real 40 fps is way smoother than this fake 40 fps oh my god check out this prompt I'm saying it's duplicate copies it's not recommended to cap the fps at 40 with frame generation enabled you will easily notice the graphical artifacts foliage seems to be vibrating so I'll just remove the cap open performance tab set frame rate limit to off resume the game I am still observing duplicate copies of game icons Eighty to ninety FPS. It didn't help much in improving the performance. So now I'll show you how to uninstall the refresh rate unlock a script. Just switch to SteamOS desktop mode. On the desktop, look for this file, refresh rate unlock toolbox. Open it. Type your Steam Deck sudo password. This menu will pop up and just select uninstall option. Click on OK. That's it. Uninstallation complete. Just need to reboot Steam Deck in order to apply the changes. Back to SteamOS gaming mode. Press the Steam button. Setting. Scroll down to the end. Tap developer. Scroll down to the middle. Enable this toggle. Next to enable unified frame limit management open performance tab and there you go frame rate limit 60 fps 60 hertz so that's it with the video guys i hope you find it useful thanks for watching and have a nice day